My guest today is Tim O'Brien, the founder of The Healthy Place, an e-commerce store for healthy products. They also have four brick and mortar locations, one in Madison, Wisconsin, one in Fitchburg, Wisconsin, one in Middleton, Wisconsin, and one in Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. Tim's life passion is health and wellness, and he has spent the last decade sharing his passion with the world. On a personal side, he is married to Becky, and together they have three children. In this conversation with Tim, I expressed how much health and wellness is important to myself and how convoluted the marketplace is and very difficult to trust who you buy from and which products you buy. I was excited to have Tim on the show so I could learn more about the difference in what the Healthy Place offers over buying products at other places like GNC, Walgreens, The Vitamin Shop, and obviously Amazon.com. So sit back and listen to the education that we get from Tim on how to buy better and healthier products in the health and wellness space. Hey Tim, welcome to the show. Hey Joe, how you doing buddy? I'm doing great, man. Happy. What is it? Wednesday. I lost track. I just got yeah, back. It's the hump, hump day of the week, man. And Beautiful. I'm dude, I just got to say thank you for giving me a chance to be on your show, man. This is cool. Yeah, no, it's my pleasure. As, uh, as I mentioned before, we actually started this, that I have, you know, I know that literally health is everything. Like it, mm-hmm. you could have everything in the world that you ever, ever wanted. And with, without your health, it's just, you know, it's, it's unfortunate because I know, People go through things that had nothing to do with them not being healthy. They just got delivered a, a bad hand, um, yeah. you know, so that's a different story. But those of us that True. can make sure we stay healthy, there are things that we can do. But before we get into all of that, and as a lot of my listeners for the podcast and the viewers of the YouTube channel know, I'd like to get the backstory because a lot of the people who listen to the show are, my hope is that they're these entrepreneurial spirits that are trying to figure out what they want to do, or they're in the midst of doing it. And they, they need ideas from people that are being successful doing it. So I would like to go back as far as you're willing to go back to allow myself and the viewers to understand how you got into what you're doing today. What I'd love to share that. Yeah. Yeah. Like what triggered the fact that you're now in this world of, of you know, of the <laughs> health world. And, alternatives. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'd love to hear that. And then we'll get in. I'd love to, man. It, it's okay. a cool story. I, I kind of like telling it because it's just cool to see how things can work together to sort of bring you to the place that you're at. And it's sort of confirmation uh, in some different ways. So I, I love to share it, man. So I'd be happy to. So when my, um, when I was like five or six years old, my mom fought through thyroid cancer. And I remember her like going through the chemo, radiation, losing the hair, like seeing her at the hospital. You know, I have uh, four siblings. So just a lot of fear in the home, worried about mom. And then I remember this time where she came home and she was sort of like excited and sort of like filled with a little bit of hope because she had uh, gone into this health food store in a little podunk town called Muskego, Wisconsin, just this tiny little town that had a health food store. And she talked to this guy named John for like an hour and a half. And John shared with her all these natural alternatives that had some good science and some good reason to believe that it could help her in her process, recovery, treatment of the thyroid cancer. And so she would like go in there like once a week, uh, whether it was a refill for some supplements or whether it was some more education, because there was a lot of literature that this guy handed out as well, like books that he gave her. And I would go with her and through this whole process, she, she was benefited quite a bit from these natural alternatives that helped her and her recovery process. So I remember hearing about that as a little guy and through that process, she got a job as a manager at this health food store and she was there all the time, 40, 50 hours a week kind of thing. And us kids were homeschooled. So we would go with mom often sitting in this back room of this health food store, you know, doing our math problems, doing our our schoolwork. And I watched over the years, these testimonies produced of people coming in with chronic pain, depression, sleep issues, other folks that battled cancer that my mom, you know, held their hand through the process, educating them. 
And so that was like my whole upbringing. And it really got into my DNA that there is natural alternatives out there that work. And the general population just doesn't know about them because the way our medical system set up pharmaceutical medications, you know, we have some of the best doctors in the world and, you know, you go to them, you get a prescription. You don't necessarily mm -hmm. get a natural alternative recommendation. So I got a bit passionate about that in my late teen years. So I got a job at a GNC franchise and worked for uh, uh, the owner who invited me to move out to Madison, Wisconsin to manage some of his GNC stores after a little while. So I was like, man, okay, my boss thinks I'm like good at this. I really enjoy helping people, encouraging people. I just happen to like, like people in general. So <laughs> it was it was sort of a fit. Like I got this passion for this natural alternative thing. I feel like I'm helping people. I'm impacting the world. I want to make a difference. Um, and I was managing these GNC franchises in Madison, Wisconsin. Well, there was a corporate takeover dude in 2007 where everybody lost their jobs. Like corporate took over these six franchises that my boss owned. And it was like, OMG, like, what am I going to do now? And so I, I, okay, determined, you know, hey, I want to do something in this natural alternative space. I have always been sort of passionate about business in general. I had like three paper routes when I was 11 and I hired my sisters for a quarter a day. I was making bank. Right. <laughs> and uh, I was, so I, I tried a network marketing business for a little while that was supplements and that was brutal. You know, multi-level marketing can be really hard. And I was like, okay, I don't want to go that route maybe I should open my own health food store. And at that time I had just uh, met dating, married Becky, my wife. So we're prayerfully like thinking through this. Should we do this? You know, put the house on the line, you know, open up our own health food store and risk everything. And we decided to take the plunge. So our first brick and mortar store 2010 was in a town called Fitchburg, Wisconsin, which is right outside of Madison, Wisconsin. And then 2015, it was store number two in the Madison area. And then 2019 was stores three and four. So that was going well. We uh, then moved towards e-commerce where we're like, hey, if we're making an impact and a difference here locally, which is really exciting, we really enjoy it together. We work as a team. Like, let's, let's hit the nation. That sounds fun. And so we started to see a little bit of success there, especially once COVID hit of last year because our in-store traffic took a hit. So our pivot as a company, like a lot of smart companies was let's focus on e-commerce. And so that really helped us, you know, talk about a blessing in disguise, really helped mm -hmm. us figure out the e-commerce space a little bit. So really exciting in December, January of this last year, we got our, our little warehouse. So now we have a warehouse in Madison and we're shipping packages out, you know, all over the United States. And that's the story and the mission is about impacting, empowering, and educating as many people as we can to just like learn, grow, and create a lifelong foundation of, of health and wellness. It's like a fanning a flame, you know? Yeah. Somebody already had, just has a little spark, you know, they're putting the cigarette out outside my store, throwing the McDonald's bag in the trash and like, ah, you know, hey, I need something for my chronic pain, all the way up to the health enthusiasts. And no matter what, to me, it's so encouraging to just fan the flame of someone's health and wellness. Cause you said it earlier. Life is a gift and people need to remember that. Yeah. And so have you always, based on the background of sitting in that store with your mother and seeing what the proper nutrition and supplements and things like that did for her, did you always pretty much lead a healthy lifestyle? Funny is- Don't no. tell me you were a fast food junkie. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Yeah, I wasn't. I always felt very bad if I was going through that fast food line. But my diet really didn't really take a huge impact until I married Becky. So for whatever reason, I would, I knew a lot about supplements, really passionate about natural alternatives. But I was, I was not the guy who was eating ultra clean, raw, you know, organic, clean, I was like, you know, okay, I'm going to eat a basic diet cleaner than most, you know, but what kind of excuse is that? And then I'd, I'd lean on supplements for nutrition. And so when I met Becky, this is 2008. Um, she's like, what? this doesn't even make sense. Like you can't go eat a pizza, frozen pizza, you know, and then go take your supplements. And like, think, 
So she really convicted me and it's been a pretty cool team because that's always been her passion is very clean eating. And she didn't understand or know about the supplement natural alternative thing. And my passion has always been, you know, for my mom's story of natural alternatives and supplements can change a life. And so then getting, you know, married and working together as a team to educate Madison and our social media platforms and on YouTube, it's like, there has to be a marriage between nutritional deficiencies, making sure we don't have them eating well, eating clean exercise. So we sure work together and uh, I've improved since meeting Becky. <laughs> wow. So are you actually telling me that she was already, before you guys even met, she was interested in this sort of thing or she was, she was uh, a healthy, yeah. clean eating person? Yes. Yep. She was wow. a health enthusiast. Yeah. I mean, just health. And, and that's part of what drew me to her is like, man, this gal's got discipline, like extreme self-control for me. That's been an area of struggle just like in general like discipline you know mm -hmm. waking up early i'm the guy that would before i met becky like stay up till one and then sleep till nine till i had to quick get to work <laughs> and you know <laughs> becky's like man we got some work to do but yeah she sure inspired me in a few of those areas okay so without prying too deeply then because now you really piqued my interest of the fact <laughs> that that you guys align so well how did you meet yeah so we um there was like a young adults uh meeting through it through a church called Metro Believers Church in Madison, Wisconsin. You know, I'm a Christian, she's a Christian. And in my early 20s, it was like, hey, I really enjoyed finding people like minded. And I think in the back of my mind, I'm like, I'm searching for a wife, you know. Mm -hmm. So I would go to a couple of these different churches, young adult uh, ministry meetings, whatever, 20 something groups. And we just started hanging out. So it was like a group of like six or seven of us. And, you know, I, I, about six months in, I, I pulled her aside one day after church and said, Hey, I still laugh at what I said. I, I said, Hey, Becky, I've, I've taken a shining to you. And I, <laughs> I, I'd like to court you unto marriage. And she's like, Oh my gosh. Like, okay. I'm kind of like you too. That was a weird way to ask, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's yeah. old school. I know, dude. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome oh man. all right cool well that's a, that's great um so how did you change or why did you change the name from uh apple wellness to the healthy place yeah really good question you know apple wellness uh was a good name you know in the sense of like apple a day to you know keep mm -hmm. the doctor away and we just had too many people thinking we were the mac apple store oh so i'd literally get calls, you know, at least weekly. Wow. That's at so, least, so at least weekly. I know. And then I'd, I'd see my employee across the way and he'd be talking to somebody and, and he'd be like, well, try turning the phone off and then turn it back on. <laughs> <You know? laughs> oh my God. So, especially after we got the e-commerce thing going, I, I started my Becky as the graphic designer uh, uh, and um, kind of branding expert within our company for a long time. She's like the Apple words taken you know, that's just gone. And I should have consulted with her a little bit more before we chose the name. Mm -hmm. And so she's always kind of wanted it changed. But then I found out that Apple, the company has a Apple wellness program, like oh. for employees, oh. like it's trademarked. I mean, so I figured it was just a matter of time before I end up getting some sort of litigation letter from yep. Apple. <laughs> yep. Wow. Okay. That's interesting. Um, yeah. So you, you, you stole one of my questions, but it was perfect because it was actually in line with what you were talking about. But I want to go back to it because it's sure. important, again, for like the entrepreneurs that are listening to this and what we just went through with COVID. You talked about shifting or not shifting, but literally adding to what you've already established. Right. So you were uh, you were a retail store people walking in foot traffic that's what you counted on to make a living right mm -hmm. so when covid hit obviously everyone stayed home so that there goes all the foot traffic so did you already have the e-commerce portion of this set up before this happened when you said it was a blessing in disguise were you already ready to go the moment like the, the, really the good, you, you know the yes, doors yes and no I mean okay. it's like we had the website we had the ability to set up set you know ship products out we had maybe 300 out of the 4,000 products that we have in our stores on the site so we were ready in certain ways and then not ready for a lot of things and we had no idea on the digital side 
of marketing, mm -hmm. Google ads, Facebook ads, you know, SEO optimization, email marketing. We hadn't done text messaging. We hadn't done very much of that, very basic in each one of those areas. So it was all of a sudden like pedal to the metal once March hit where it was like, okay, we have some of these basic fundamentals. And I always tell a, a business owner, like you, if you don't already, you have to have a website. Like, I mean, COVID showed us all that pretty quick. Like yep. you get, have to have a website and it, you know, you can get free ones, you know, we're very inexpensive, you know, Wix.com. Um, I'll, I'll tell business owners, like, e even if you're not a photographer, don't, don't try to be, don't, don't, you know, get something real basic, get a white poster board, put the product right over it. Just take a picture by a window, you know, don't, don't uh, try to get real clever with it. Uh, Cause Becky tells me that it can end up looking really bad. Mm -hmm. when trying to do it. So basic things like get a website, get a social media, you know, ask your grandkid if you don't know how to set one up sort of thing. So we had all the basics, but then for us, it was like, okay, let's get live chat on our website because we are one of our difference makers is consultations mm -hmm. with, you know, we, we change lives because we ask questions and we figure out the best products and forms and brands for their specific issues, problems. So let's get a live chat on our website so we can have those conversations. Let's get free shipping. Let's make it really easy. Even if we lose money on maybe one out of five orders, let's just like make it easy, reduce friction in any way that we can. Uh, let's get on, you know, Google ads and Facebook ads. So we, we hired a digital agency for that. And it's pretty cool. A year later, you know, we had 30% overnight of our foot traffic was just gone. Once COVID hit, we were able mm -hmm. to stay open, thankfully, but that 30% in one year's time, we were able to build that on our e-commerce platforms. We were able to replace what was lost. So I'm still head spinning. So thankful for my team able to bring that together because it, it's quite the operation and it takes a lot of work. Yeah. Um, did you, did you keep the stores open themselves or did you, you, know, we did. you did. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. We and was it rambling in the beginning of if we could be classified as like essential or not. Yep. And my belief is that the immune system is something that can really be strengthened. You know, I'm more passionate about terrain versus the germs. Mm -hmm. So if we can strengthen our terrain, strengthen our immune systems, both defense and offense. I mean, there's incredible science behind simple nutrients like Sambucus from elderberry, the University of Sydney showing the prevention with, with elderberry prevention of viruses entering the cell. I mean, it's some pretty cool science. So at the beginning of the COVID thing, it was like, okay, I'm not going to tell anybody I can cure, prevent, you mm -hmm. know, whatever, but I'm sure as heck going to yell it from the rooftop that you can strengthen your immune system and a strong immune system, strong health is the best defense against any disease, virus, sickness, anywhere. So I got pretty passionate about that a year ago. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that's great. So I'm normally pretty good at not bouncing around, but in this case, I want to go back to when you decided to do this. You know, obviously when, when someone gets released from a corporate environment and they're like, oh my gosh, I don't have control over my own destiny because these people just literally ripped the rug out from underneath me, which is another thing that a lot of entrepreneurs know because this is how they got to where they are. They're, that happened to them. They're like, I'm not letting someone else dictate how my life is going to turn out, right? <laughs> yeah. So, but what's really crazy is I don't know if, it, if in Wisconsin or the places where you have these stores, obviously we, we know that you already brought it up that GNC is a big, brand around the country. Mm -hmm. uh, there's also where we are, there's the vitamin store, right? Or the something, yeah, one of those, shop. Yeah, the vitamin yeah. shopper. Yep. So there's a lot of these places. So it's almost like you saying, you and Becky going, oh yeah, we're going to create the the next uh, pizza delivery, like pizza yeah, delivery there's already franchise. 10 right around yeah. the corner. Yeah, right. So that's right. be number 11. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's, it's gonna, we're going to be the next Pizza Hut or Papa John's or whatever. It's just like that that industry yes that's a takes a lot it's of guts so to competitive yeah so when you thought about it as all entrepreneurs do we always come up with the these ideas and then we sometimes will kill our own ideas with doubt yep. our spouse or our partner or someone will say they'll be the the sensible one and say right, that's right. never <laughs> right 
but then you have all these outside influences of, of mm -hmm. friends and things. And, and, you know, at any moment, if you would have said, Hey, we're thinking of opening up a vitamin supplement, you know, healthy sort of mm -hmm. uh, that people would look at you and go, what about all of these major brands? So yeah. tell me about how you got over the hump to make, to pull the trigger. Yeah, dude, that's such a good question. And, you know, to identify, you know, I had some friends who opened a, a coffee shop, you know, and I, a year later, you know, the coffee shop's not doing so well. It was unfortunate with COVID timing and everything. And it's, it's like the supplement thing where you like hear this and you're like, oh, I don't know. You know, I wish them well, but I don't know if that's going to work <laughs> because it's just like there's a hundred of them, you know? Right. So I think for me, what happened was I worked for GNC for, you know, I, I don't know, five years. And you start to see good stuff. You start to see bad stuff. You start to see their model. You know, they were purchased by China a while back. So, mm -hmm. okay, it's all sourced from China. Forms of nutrients are in their synthetic forms or not so absorbable forms. And you start to learn like, okay, a better product would help this person more than this form of curcumin that's not absorbing into their system from China or wherever, you know. So you start to see where you could make a difference and you sort of start to see your difference makers. So in the supplement world, there's two veins of supplement stores. There's the type of stores that are all about muscle gain and weight loss, you know, weight loss, thermogenics, high caffeine, ephedra, you know, Fen Fen, Trim Spa, Zantrax, Hydroxycut. And a lot of that isn't super healthy mm -hmm. for people to be taking, you know, steroids or pro hormones, you know not super healthy. So that's like one vein of supplement stores. And then there's another vein of supplement stores that just, they source from China. They use synthetic nutrients. It's a little bit more about margin and profit than it is about quality and making a difference. And so that is something I realized pretty early on. And there's not too many supplement health food stores that have a lot of knowledge where you walk in and there's not just like a high schooler selling the huge jug of protein because he gets a $2 commission on it, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yes, I do know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and there's just not a lot of those out there. So then all of a sudden starting to dream about, you know, originating from my mom's story where somebody really helped her out where I can really make a difference. Because if I open my own stores or store at the time, I can bring in some of the best brands in the world. And pretty quick in any industry, you find out good, better, best. And I want to be in that best category. So now all of a sudden you're working with some of the best brands in the world and you have the knowledge to be able to guide somebody with Crohn's disease, let's just mm -hmm. talk, or asthma on natural alternatives that really work. And if you impact them, if you help them, if you change their life a little bit for the better, now they're going to keep coming back forever. And they tell everybody they know because there's such a vacuum, such a desperate need in this day and age for knowledgeable resources in the natural alternative space. We have a ton of medical, we have a ton of pharmaceutical drugs. We just don't have information coming to the general public on natural alternatives that work. And I get to be that resource in uh, Madison, Wisconsin. So I think that's why we have done well in our brick and mortar stores. And I think that's probably why our retention uh, is higher for our e-commerce is because of that customer service, that knowledgeable resource, that going the extra mile to impact their lives. And I'll give you an example. A lady might hit our live chat from California and say, hey, I'm, I'm looking for a B12. Can you give me a recommendation? And then we might ask the question like, uh, absolutely, here's a couple options. Do you mind if I ask why you're, why you're taking B12? Oh, my doctor said, because I have really low energy, I have nerve pain. And my mental clarity and focus, I get like foggy brain all the time. So then all of a sudden we say, awesome. Okay, I'm actually going to encourage the methylcobalamin form of B12 because it absorbs much better than this cyanocobalamin form that I first sent you because I really want you to feel the difference. And since you're feeling fatigued and a little brain fog, I'd love for you to consider this adrenal boost product that has adaptogenic herbs in there like ashwagandha, rhodiola, maca, because 92% of fatigue is related to your adrenal glands. So then you recommend that product, they get it. And this lady two months later goes, oh my gosh, my energy is a little better. 
my focus is better. My stress is reduced, which I didn't even bring up, but that adrenal product helps with stress too, I guess, you know, mm -hmm. then all of a sudden they're leaving a review like, wow, you know, that wellness consultant, Ryan, you know, he's one of our, our wellness consultants, you know, he really helped me out. And so it's a very different sort of dynamic uh, than a typical uh, GNC store, health food store, vitamin shop type experience. They're mm -hmm. all great stores. I mean, I love natural alternatives anywhere you can get them. So that was like our difference maker. And that's why I thought I could make a go out of it. Okay, cool. I have so much to ask you now because you keep opening up like cans of worms. Like, so, so before, again, I, I, I want this stuff to be helpful for the entrepreneur and then, then we're going to help the consumers that listen to this. So yeah. how, when you decided on doing this and said, okay, and you, let's pull the trigger, how did you figure out the place where you're going to open up store number one? Did you do all that extensive, oh, you know, good question. Yes. traffic, uh, you know, what's going to pop up around us? What, you what know, is, you find, know, find a good broker, a real estate broker that can find you spaces. So I had uh, a guy named Kent in Madison, Wisconsin, and he, you know, you don't have to pay these guys, <laughs> you know, it's the landlord that pays them. Right. And so as a young, you know, entrepreneur about to like risk everything he had, that was really important for me to know. Like, I, I still am shocked by that. Like you can just call one of these guys, try to find a reputable one, find somebody, you know, that trusts that can make a good referral. And they do all this scouting for you. They send you all the reports and you don't pay a penny, you know? Mm -hmm. I am a bottle of wine at the end or something, but you don't pay a penny for this. They get paid from the landlord. Right. So he was bringing me idea after idea after idea. And he had been in the industry for a long time. So he knew the city really, really well. And he was able to guide me through, Hey, you know, this has a really strong anchor. You know, the anchor in Fitchburg was target. Yep. Yep. It was a super, super target. So I was like, Oh, learning about anchors are important. Yep really important. So I tell you, if you're listening, like look for some strong anchors, because that's really going to help you for traffic. And, and just for the listeners and the people that don't like it, like we, when they talk about like a small strip mall or a plaza or mm -hmm. something like that, or even in a, in a mall mall, an anchor is an anchor store that is when they go in, there's a really good chance they're not going away. Like they are a big thing like Target or Walmart or exactly. Nordstrom or, you know, whatever. So yes. I just wanted to clear that up because I didn't know at one point, but I, I know right. when you're looking at retail space like that, you want to be surrounded by an anchor store that has been around forever and is not going away. Yes. And just to further drive that point home, we have four brick and mortar stores. And the one that's doing like the worst is the one that doesn't have a strong anchor by it. Uh, so just get one with a strong anchor and then look at price points and definitely negotiate. So we had that broker that was able to help us out. He was able to negotiate tenant improvement are a big deal when you're opening a store. Cause you, you could use money towards the build out and you can ask landlords for that. So if, again, if you have a good broker and you tell them your story, what you're trying to build out, a lot of times you can get, a number of things paid for by the landlord because they're about to ask you to sign a five-year lease. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So at this point, th the four locations that you have, you are in a lease situation. Yes, all four. Yep. At any into purchasing. Yeah. Okay, so there's <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's my question. It's like, when do you pull the trigger on saying, okay, I want to actually start to own some of these buildings or these spaces. And that's mm -hmm. a huge jump. That's a, that's really putting your neck yeah. out. Right. So, so I, in all four, I looked at them and each one has a different story. The first one I looked into though, uh, at the Fitchburg location, the, the buildings went up for sale. So I was like, Oh, this should be so cool. So I looked into it and it was $7 million for these yeah. two buildings because it's in a strong anchor, you know, high traffic area. So it is, difficult to buy the spot buy the strong anchor because mm -hmm. it's really it would have been risking i couldn't i couldn't do it you know right right but then the idea next idea is like well maybe i should move locations now that my name's established mm -hmm. maybe i can buy a strip mall down the way or something like that so that idea is in the back of my head but then you move away from the strong anchor so that's right what held me back right cool well that see that was perfect because that it was like all of the things that you have to consider Right. And uh, it's, yeah, that's a tough decision, man. That's a lot of money. <laughs> it is, yeah. dude. I know. Yeah. And I, I have a buddy who owns a dentistry office and he was able to purchase his location and it's awesome. You know, he's about to pay it off after 10 years and, you know, I'm super excited. So it, yeah. it is, it depends on the situation. Yeah. 
Okay. So now let's get into what I consider in this, the world that you're in. And I'm a huge fan of natural things. Like I, I, is it, it's a, there's a difference between naturopathic or is right. Is that pr pronounced correctly? Is that how they say it now? Yeah. Naturopathic or, medicine or home homeopathic. Homeopathy, yep. Homeopathy right. Okay. And integrative medicine is kind of like medical and naturopathy together. Yep. yep. So, um, Joelle and my life partner went through a, a battle of breast cancer, uh, where she had some lymph nodes and luckily, you know, Jeez. through, through chemo and radiation, uh, she came out on the other side and everything's great. But the big thing that she also had was she had a naturopathic doctor hmm. that went, that came from the cancer world. So the, the advantage is, is that he understood the mm -hmm. treatment what that was happening with the normal medicine and he knew what to give her to not take away from what she was doing with the chemo and radiation but at the same time help to to keep her system built up and not offset any of that so they there was a perfect marriage between the two and i swear to this day i feel like that was the reason that she was Wow. fairly, fairly normal through the process. Like we were doing P90X and she was in the middle of that's chemo awesome. and radiate. Wow. Yeah. It was ridiculous. So, wow, dude, that's so awesome. I'm a big fan of the naturopathic side of things and natural remedies and all of that. Yeah, so, that is, yeah. so that's why this was a, a cool episode for me because it's, it's hard to talk with somebody that is in, in this niche that you're in with, without it being the big stores. And so my first question, because I got so many of them. First question, <laughs> first question it. is how do you become with all of the misinformation that's out in mm. the world? Right. And this is what confuses all of us as consumers. You go to Amazon and you say, I need a, a B vitamin of some right. type or B supplement. Yep. And the habit is you, you click on the five-star rating things as you want, you think that's going to be the best because people are taking their time to rate it, which I think there's enough conversation is. in the world that says that's not necessarily true. Right. Yeah. And, and then you, you literally are just like throwing darts at a dartboard with I a know, blindfold on. So, so how do you uh, get through all the misinformation that you feel so confident enough that when you, when you suggest something to a client, Mm -hmm. that you haven't been taken advantage of by the misinformation? Like, yeah. how do you get through all That's of that stuff? A great question. And even the reviews, if a company markets really well mm -hmm. and they're incredible at marketing, they can get a billion five-star reviews and they can be like synthetic, sourced from China, not NSF certification. So over the years, you start to be able to read between the lines and you start to be able to say, hey, this is BS over here. This is marketing only, not mm -hmm. network quality. And like any industry, you start to learn the good, better, and best. So there's a few things. So first and foremost, I think everybody needs somebody on their team, like your wife has that naturopathic doctor now as a resource that she can probably shoot an email to or make an appointment with and ask these questions. I think everybody needs somebody on their team because most people have a medical doctor and beyond that, you know, and they might have a pharmacist, right. And they're good to have on your team, but we need somebody with expertise, knowledge, history in the supplement space, because even a naturopathic doctor, they know way more than I do about the human body, about maybe, uh, yeah, just, just you know, how, to, how to treat maybe disease, right? When you're in the supplement space, there is, you get to deal with hundreds and hundreds of brands. And over the decades, you know, which I think 18 years now, you start to find out what brands are good and trustworthy and which ones aren't because the FDA doesn't regulate all the supplements. All right. So you can say whatever you want on the label. I got my Yerba Mate drink here. Mm -hmm. You can say whatever you want and... FDA isn't going to necessarily nail you if you're lying, if your label is making false label claims. And this happens. There was a clinical in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, or not a real clinical, but where they took products from a number of stores, GNC, Walgreens, Walmart, and Target. They took supplements from those four stores, and then they had them tested at Covance. I think it was Covance Labs. And 
all four of them had discrepancies with what the label said and what was actually in the capsule. And one product was an echinacea product, which is good for the immune system. And it had 0% echinacea in there and a little bit of garlic. Like what oh my the egg? gosh. You know? Yeah. So the, exactly what you said, it's shooting in the dark. Is it marketing that's producing these reviews? Is it quality? Is it going to help me? Is it a waste of my money? Am I being sold? Right? So there's all those questions. And the privilege that I'm so thankful for is just being submersed in the supplement world long enough. You, you learn a couple of things. So sourcing is vital. Where is it coming from? There is vitamin C that you can get out of China, that there's some concerns there with uh, uh, chemicals, heavy metals, arsenic. Or you can get vitamin C from Scotland, which happens to have a really rich ascorbic acid form of vitamin C. Clean, it's a great place to source it from. So where a product is sourced from is really important. Number two is does the brand have NSF certification? So NSF, CGMP grade facilities that they work with, which they're paying uh, uh, money to NSF to a third party test and ensure that they're having all of these practices that are healthy for supplements, their sourcing, their cleanliness, has it been tested? Is it clean? Those questions. And NSF doesn't care about the company. They care about their reputation. Mm -hmm. So they're sure as heck going to just, you know, that that's a good certification. It's trusted in the supplement world to ensure that what's on the label is actually in the product. So sourcing, number one, NSF GMP certification, number two, and number three, which all of these take some sort of expertise or having somebody on your, your team, you know, that's why I say that you have somebody on your team first, but number three is the forms of nutrients. So B12, which I you know, gave the example earlier, cyan cobalamin B12 is synthetic. So your body has to convert it and you lose a lot of the content in that conversion versus a methylcobalamin form of B12, which is the natural form that your body absorbs really, really well. So for items number one and two, sourcing and NSF, you could have a very clean form of uh, cyan cobalamin B12 sourced, very clean. You could have NSF facility ensuring that you have that 50 micrograms of cyan cobalamin B12 in the B complex, but then it would take some expertise to know like, okay, that's fine. That's good. But we would prefer a methylcobalamin form of B12 because it absorbs so much better. Mm -hmm. And every single nutrient, this blows my mind because every single nutrient has good, better, best. You know, whether you're talking about vitamin C, ascorbic acid, sodium ascorbate, calcium ascorbate, B12, which I'm talking about, B6, peroxidine hydrochloride versus peroxide phosphate, turmeric. You know, you can get the, the turmeric that colors your Indian curry orange and you can take that capsule and it's good for you. It just doesn't do very much for inflammation unless you extract the curcumin out. And then even that doesn't have a good absorption rate. So blending it with the turmeric essential oils and the sunflower lecithin launch the absorption where it's literally absorbing 200 to 500 times better than the turmeric Indian spice that you started with. And that's the form, BCM95, mm -hmm. that's the form that Baylor University out of Texas is using to literally treat cancer and chronic pain with incredible results. I mean, the cancer story is very cool. Inflammation uh, is the root of a uh, big root system of cancer. Mm -hmm. So that's an example where it's like, oh man, form. So sourcing, NSF GMP grade facility, forms of nutrients, those are the big three that you wanna look at to know quality, right? So that's where I always tell somebody, find somebody that you can trust. So for you guys, it might be your, your doctor that your, your wife mm -hmm. worked with. Um, uh, for in Madison, Wisconsin, a lot of people trust the healthy place to help guide them. You know, we don't do commission so that we can just recommend what's best. So people right. can use that live chat feature on our website to just ask those questions, but find a health food store. Maybe that is trustworthy in your hometown that you do meet, meet a John, you know, like my mom met John mm -hmm. or, or you find a store like mine that you can connect with and you can go to when health strikes, health problems strike. Cause everybody has some condition, some problem, something, even if it's something as simple as fatigue, you know, 92% of fatigue is related to your adrenal glands. You can strengthen your adrenal glands and you can have more vibrant energy every day. And people just don't know that. So they keep reaching for the coffee or the soda or the caffeine pills, you know, what have you. 
So get somebody on your team that you can trust. So going, so you said at one point in this conversation that do you have over 4,000 products? Yeah. <laughs> SKUs now, right? Okay. So let's just take that as an example. That's a full-time job for someone like you to be mm-hmm. the, the yes. gatekeeper. Yeah of your, of the healthy place. You have to be the gatekeeper to say, yes, this comes into our door and gets put on our shelves or in our e-commerce store, or no, this doesn't meet the criteria. So to me, it feels like it's continuing education and literally a full-time job for whoever that person, let's just say it's you at the moment, that is the person that says yay or nay on these products. So I, it's just mind boggling what is out there and, and what you have to do to sort of educate yourself to, to say, yes, this, this makes the cut. Not only does it make the cut, but it's an A product. It's not a B product and not a C product. You yeah, know what I mean? You're so, absolutely right. You know, and it, it's like reading a book though. You know, I don't want to minimize what I do. It's like, it's not hard for you to read English, mm-hmm. you know, after you've learned it. But if you're learning a new language, it looks like totally confusing, overwhelming. It can take me forever to learn this language. And it might take you some years to learn it. Once you have that language mastered, it's just like reading a book. You know, you just check the boxes, right? Okay, where is it sourced from? Mm -hmm. NSF, GMP, you know, what's the forms of these nutrients? Because you start to learn. And then you have experts that you follow. So I have a lot of people smarter than me that I follow you know, Dr. Axe, Dr. Wild, Dr. Whitaker, Dr. Northrup, and you start to, you know, Terry Lameron, you start to follow these gurus in the supplement industry that have been there for 40 years that know so much more than you. And you're reading their literature, listening to their podcasts, their, you know, the, the symposiums around the planet that are going on for this breakthrough, that breakthrough, you get the subscriptions, right? To the, so I just tell everyone, get plugged in, at least where you're getting encouraged on a regular basis to own your health, build your terrain, strengthen your health in all the ways that you can, inspire yourself on a regular basis, and then get somebody on your team that you can trust to help guide you in the space. Because it is a new language. You're right. It's nuts. It's just, it's so <laughs> frustrating. Get a three-month vegan plan because yeah. I, I and I'm not vegan, but I loved it. Like it, it was good for me, but yeah, I yeah. actually, I actually in the process lost a lot of muscle mass. Cause I was also going, always going to the gym, but all of a sudden I started to shrink both, like, you know, no! so yeah. So I'm like, oh, I'm doing all this hard work and it's just, I needed uh, to get on a B12 vitamin of some, and it's funny because I don't even know what I'm taking, but it's something that I got from Amazon and I'm sure. So I'm going to look when, yeah, when we're, when we're done, I'm going to look and then I'm, I'm going to, and then I'm going to say, I need a direct line to Tim in there the chat go, from, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so have you ever thought of uh, franchising? I have. I and have. and I'm just interested. You don't have to. You don't have to t- no, say. No, I'm. So I am very interested, and I have been kicking that ball around in my head for a long time because we are. So we specialize in education, right? So you got to find ways to duplicate yourself in a franchise, and so we created a three month curriculum that our wellness consultants have to go through. They have to pass quizzes and tests and they have to get certifications from this company, this company, AMM, CBD certification, you know, just all the enzyme certifications to understand the industry, know what questions to ask customers and how to make recommendations. So that's one of the hardest things that we've done that would make it more easy to duplicate the knowledge side of our company and our brand. And as I've talked to people who have created franchises, the the legal side to it is one hurdle and then enforcing them to actually maintain your model mm-hmm. as representing the healthy place. What we have created is the two big unknowns for me as far as difficulty. So then the choice came, should we just keep adding brick and mortars in our own territory, right? Right in the Madison area, and then put all of our energy and focus into our brands that we've created and our website because there's infinite you can do in the business world. So you kind of have to pick and choose. So we decided to park the franchise idea for now and really go after Lively Vitamin Co. This is one of the brands that have been born out of our brick and mortar stores. So now we're selling that to other health food stores around the country. And then number two is buildfinderhealthyplace.com 
because just like Amazon is a freaking mammoth, there's so much opportunity to impact, empower, and educate everything that I'm passionate about on that website. So currently with four kids, we are chilling on the franchise idea, but I, I think it's brilliant because there's not, there's not the option out there, which is why it keeps coming back to me. Yeah, it's like yeah. there's not that many health food stores out there that really care souls before sales, you know, is one of my like, mm -hmm. sayings that I, yeah, I love that, by the way, I love that. Thank you. Thank you, dude. There was a time I was praying and it was like, not, I wasn't going to make my freaking mortgage in, when I first opened the store. Mm -hmm. So I was praying to God for sales. You know, I was like, God, give me sales. <laughs> God, please, I don't want to declare bankruptcy. So she was brutal. And it was like an arrow. He's like, do you care about their soul as much as you care about the sales? You know, yeah. it was kind of striking. So yeah, there's not that many stores out there that really care about the human, that have knowledge to help guide them and a model that works to help people, you know? So it's, it's still an idea that keeps coming back to me. So we'll right. see. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. Good luck. If it happens, I'm sure it'll be great. Thank um, you. If you see one popping up next door, you'll know where to get your B12. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so you hit upon this uh, a moment ago with the whole franchising thing of how to actually create this template and create a strict thing where, where the people that are talking to your customers are very educated and they're giving the right information and asking the right questions. So how, have you done that with the people that are at your current stores and how have you done that with the people that are on the other end of the chat when somebody dials in to ask these questions? Yeah. So how do you get somebody like, when is somebody, okay, you're ready to take a call. You're ready to be on the chat. You're ready to, to advise a customer in the store. Like what, what's that process? Yeah. And you don't have to go too deep. I just, no, I, I no, but I'm sure somebody's going to say like, Hey, Tim's super educated on this. So every time I talk, like I just said to you, when I call in on the chat, I want Tim, you know, right. um, so right. how do, how do you duplicate Tim so that everyone that's, that's coming in on the chat or walking in the store says, this is just a clone of Tim. Like he, they, he's already run them through the ringer, you know? Yeah. Uh, that's a good, so the three month curriculum that we created is our like pride and joy. I'm so thankful for that. It was brutal to create. So I created a hundred videos having a five minute conversation where I'm explaining different parts of the world mm -hmm. and explaining brands and what to look for and how to explain it. And then we'll go through, they'll have to pass quizzes and tests based on each module. So there's nine different modules to this curriculum. They have to go through trainings with specific companies. They have to do a number of role-playing uh, activities with our managers where they pretend to be the customer, you know, and mm -hmm. are coming in, Hey, I'm looking for some CBD. What do you got? And so they get tested there and they have to get these certifications from each of these brands. So they have to pass it. So there's one guy who got to the end and he is like, okay, dude, we got to rewind because you're not retaining this stuff, you know? So either you did the last minute cramming for this quiz the night before, like, it's mm -hmm. like I did it. I didn't, I did that in high school, but <laughs> right. you know, and then you don't retain it. Right. Yep. So do you really care about this or not? So he had to start over. He had to go through it again. So it's a team. We have a leadership team of five. And so we have these nine modules, the quizzes, the tests, they have to pass them. They have to do the role playing. And then the leadership team of five will say, okay, this person's ready or they're really not ready. And there's still a couple of parts of our team where we're like, okay, where they, they can be a wellness consultant in the store, but we don't think they're ready to be on live chat. So then we'll wait maybe six months till they have a little bit more experience because where our team learns the most is from the customers coming in, asking the questions and they don't know the answer of how to treat colitis, mm -hmm. with, you know, whatever. So then they have to go find out to get back to that customer and then they learn something. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm proud to say our live chat feature on our website. If you go to findyourhealthplace.com, lower right, you hit that little live chat bubble. The seven different consultants that you might run into over there are, you know, I wouldn't say clones of Tim because I think they're smarter than me, but they are really well equipped and able to match, kind of hit the mark of where they need to be. And they mm -hmm. all know and are passionate enough about helping people to not, one of the first things that I'll tell them is dude, never bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a real thing. And I came from a, I won't say anything negative where it's just more about getting the sale. Yeah. It's about getting that commission and 
And uh, that's part of why we don't do commissions. So it's, it's a fun process. It's pretty intense. Well, that's great, man. Yeah. So I want to respect your time. We're, we're down to the wire. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything that you want to talk about. So you have four stores in Wisconsin. Mm-hmm. Madison, Correct. Wisconsin, yep. Okay. Um, and you have the website. Findyourhealthyplace.com. Findyourhealthyplace.com. Anything else that I missed that is important that we talk about? You, you know, dude, I mean, I, as I was thinking about this program and your followers, like what your mission is, you're trying to encourage entrepreneurs, trying to encourage people to um, be thankful for life, you know, mm-hmm. to, to treat life like the gift it is, you know? Yep. So I did want to offer your followers a coupon code if they don't have, you know, if you have a health food store in your own hometown, that's great. Support those guys. If you have somebody on your team, that's awesome. That's my main passion. And if you need some, a resource that you can trust, if you go to findyourhealthyplace.com and you get something, type in coupon code Costello, and that'll give 30% off the full price on anything on our whole website. And we have thousands of products. So anything from a B12 to you know, something more intense. And regardless if you buy something or not, use that live chat feature to ask questions. You know, I've had people um, call my cell phone, but like, hey, Tim, you know, I'm in Whole Foods right now. I'm looking at three different multivitamins. Like, which one do you think I should get? You know, and I get to tell them and it's fun. And it's okay. You, know, you can share the love. And so, you know, use that live chat feature as a resource because more than ever, dude, we need natural alternatives. We need some education. We at least need to know about like Joellen. Yeah. Your life yep. partner, dude. Yeah. What if she didn't have that naturopathic doctor that gave her some natural supplements through one of the most intensive crises that she ever faced in her life? Like, you know, in your gut that that helped her in a dramatic way because you watched her do P90X through the cancer experience. Yep. I mean, that's a miracle, dude. And it took somebody, you know, reaching out and it took a resource being willing to respond to create that miracle, you know? And so that's what I want for people. Yeah, it's, I, I can't stress it enough that right? what I saw before my very eyes every single day. And it would, it, and then I see people that are going through cancer of some type and they're only being treated you know the you know, medical doctor yeah the, and their oh. their body is just being crushed yes and there's and there's not no nothing helping to offset the chemicals and all of the harshness yep. of of that treatment and so right. and, and let me say you know you saw it with somebody you loved very much mm-hmm. i saw it with my mom when i was you know, five or six and, and since then i'm getting goosebumps i have seen it for thousands of people through the last 11 years that the Healthy Place has been a company, thousands of people, not always cancer, uh, but, but we're talking, you know, depression, chronic pain, Crohn's disease, asthma, like people suffering, like mega, su- there's so much suffering going on mm-hmm. in the world. And there's natural alternatives that people literally don't know about. They have nobody in their world telling them. So they just listen to whatever mainstream uh, media or their medical doctor yep. or their pharmacist. And there's a lot of good people with good intent in those areas. It's just, there's not the voice of natural alternatives. So we need to know about this stuff. We got to get the word out. Yeah. Well, it's great, man. I, I love what you're doing. And uh, this was exciting for me. And, and I think I actually have your personal email. So I'm just going to, awesome. I'm going to go, I'm going to go, Tim, I, I need you more can. energy. Tim, I think, um, um, uh, I think I have uh, inflammation and I'm going to be yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> no, you should. And if anyone's listening to, and they, cause sometimes, you know, they, they, they just have a trust factor or whatever, Tim at findyourhealthyplace.com. It, I, I am happy to take emails. It's what I get to do all day, dude. And it's just fun. It's so rewarding. You just get to point people in the right direction and, and help them out. So I love it. I wish you all the luck in the world. This is a, thank you. Um, this is a great, thing that you're doing. It's nice to have somebody who is, like you said, it's, it's souls before sales. It's a great, mm-hmm. it's a great way to do it. Um, and I think you'll be rewarded, uh, continually be rewarded for doing it thank that you. way. I'll put everything in the show notes. Uh, thank you for the coupon for the listeners. Yep. Um, and I'll make sure I have all the correct links. So uh, findyourhealthyplace.com is the website. The company's name is The Healthy Place. You have four locations in uh, Madison, Wisconsin. You eventually might franchise someday. 
Um, yes. But peak on Facebook, you know, the healthy yep. place on Facebook, my wife's a genius as far as really caring for our community there. Yep. So you'll find a lot of good content and Instagram as well. So thank you, dude. This is yeah. exciting. Tim, thanks so much, man. I really appreciate your time today. And thanks for all the insight. And uh, I really do wish you the best of luck. Anytime, brother. And wish the same to you. Thank you, man. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I want to thank you for listening to my podcast. I know you have many options to listen to various podcasts. And I'm honored that you chose to listen to mine. I would love it if you would rate my podcast five stars and write a nice review. It really helps to bring up the rankings of the podcast to other listeners. Once again, Thank you so much for listening to The Joe Costello Show. I appreciate you very much.